Okay, as we continue with section 7.5, here's another example of an equation that is a radical equation because there's a variable under a square root sign. Now, in order to solve this equation, I first make sure that the radical's alone, so it's isolated, and everything else that's not part of the radical is off to the other side. Here's how I begin this problem. Remember what we did in the previous examples. Whenever I want to undo square rooting something, the inverse operation is squaring. What I do to one side, I have to do to the other. Now, the left-hand side is easy. When you square a square root, because they're inverses, they cancel each other out. So I'm just left with 5x plus 29. Now on this side, there's no radical. You are squaring a binomial, and I hope you remember that to square a binomial, okay, you are going to use the FOIL method. First, outer, inner, and last. So we end up getting 5x plus 29 equals x squared plus 6x plus 9. Okay? I have a quadratic equation to solve. Remember, quadratic means degree 2. The way I'm going to solve this equation is I'm going to set the left-hand side equal to 0 by subtracting 5x and by subtracting 29. So I have 0 equals x squared plus x minus 20. That factors as x plus 5 times x minus 4. So when I set each one of these to 0, I get a negative 5 or out of here I get a positive 4. Now, what we need to do in a minute is check those answers.